Your Excellencies, Your Royal Highnesses, Titans of Industry, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen. Harvard left us in winter, far away from home. Harvard left us before the season of bloom. Spring was just so arrived at its last location, the United States, when the Lord called for him. But spring is not the symbol of Harvard's bloom. His journey was defined by peculiar seasons. He bloomed long before his court travelers. So this spring for us isn't the spring of festive flowers. It is the season of rape. This spring for us isn't a season of tears. It is a celebration of Harvard's flight to a height that only a few of God's chosen ones have attained. I feel privileged to be here today to share in the memories of Harvard and the pillars of his home that lived with him. Only 15 days separated Harvard's birth from mine. It's a friend, a brother, a contemporary. I feel honored to partake in celebrating the divine miracle that was Harvard's life. Once upon a time, <laughs> once upon a time, Herbert Oyewumbuwikwe, alongside his co traveler, Aik Boje Aik Imokwadi, embarked on a journey, a journey that changed the course of the banking industry in Nigeria. They took a leap of faith to build an empire that now stands as the pinnacle of our industry. I consider myself fortunate to have shared a life in the banking industry with them. Yet Harvard didn't pause to take a break. His face was that of a relentless sprint against time. He became a flower when his peers were still seeds blooming when others were still struggling to understand the means of their ambitions. Today, as we reflect on his life, let us remember Herbert, not just as a visionary leader, but as the early bloomer that inspired others to reach for the sun, even in the harshest of winters. The tragic impact of Herbert's departure, along with his wife Chizoba, son Chizzy and associates, resonates deeply because it unravels the extraordinary narrative of his rise against the tides of life. He wasn't just a wildflower. He evolved into a magnificent garden. He was a sanctuary of inspiration for his friends, a source of solace for his family, a nourishing hope for his community, a symbol of proud for Nigeria and a beacon of hope for Africa. <laughs> the loss we feel today is not just the absence of an individual. It is the fading fragrance of a garden that touched lives far beyond its borders, leaving an enduring legacy that transcends time and geography. Herbert, though an early bloomer in the garden of life, didn't share the fate of those who faded away prematurely. His narrative was one of triumph. He, on he conquered all that was to conquer. What lingers now is not just the memory of a man, but a lasting entrepreneurial empire. He paid enough dues for his name to endure. He walked enough paths for his name to transcend time and outlast us all. This is a perpetual reminder of the extraordinary journey he undertook and the enduring power of his ambition and the pursuit of excellence. This day and these subjects of our grief reminds us of life's fragile beauty, but we must celebrate 
the divine miracle that was the life the disease sleep. The spread of these great advisors is so because they cultivated a garden of success. Their achievements were not just individual triumphs, but testaments to the collective strength of those they touch, those they built, and those they inspired. The journey of our departed brothers and sisters may have ended in a distant land, but their spirits linger in the hearts of everyone here and beyond. Today, we honor not just the souls that boarded that faithful helicopter, but the indomitable dreamers and builders that soared to heights reserved for the chosen few. What could have been Harvard's final act, his magnum opus, was the unveiling of the university he endeavored to establish, the Harvard of Africa, as he fondly called it. To understand why he was so passionate about creating a place of knowledge, one must step into the shoes of a man who lived a life adorned with unparalleled achievements and reached summits few dare to climb. This dream is a lasting legacy to his community and mirrors his enduring commitment to elevate not just himself but also generations to come. This dream echoes a sentiment that epitomizes the essence of his extraordinary journey. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may Harvard's legacy continue to bloom in the hearts and minds of those who strive for greatness. On behalf of my principal, President Bola Ahmad Tinibu, the Access family, the banking world, the Nigerian nation, please accept our most heartfelt condolences. May his soul rest in eternal peace. Amen. Thank you.